Morning everybody, how we doing? Steaming towards another weekend. Uh, been talking to a few clients this morning, they're on point, they've got stuff to do, they're helping their friends out, they've planned the meals, they've got out early this morning, gone for a walk, got the stretches in, hydrated, I just honestly mind blown. And the new people, new people that started, and honestly it's awesome. Uh, if you want to come boot camp, boot camp's on later, weather looks epic for it, it's going to be really good, really nice. Uh, and as usual, Get Lean program is available. If you need to lose weight, you want to shred some body fat, you want to look lean, whatever it is, you want to make some changes, um, it's there for you. Use it. Get the sat-nav route. Anyway, so do you feel like life is happening to you and not for you? Right. Have you ever said, it always happens to me? It's always me. And I get it because I've said it that many times before. But this is where Facebook pity parties come from. I see that many, oh, I can't sleep. Oh, cheers for that, yeah. Very helpful. Or, oh, this has happened. Oh, that's happened. You're like, you've got to sort of deal with it. You can't just say that it always happens to me. And I get this all the time because I'm sure you've all got, everybody's got Facebook memories. They pop up from, I think it's like a year, two, three, four, five, I don't know, up to however long you've been on Facebook, no idea. I see them pop up, and honestly, it scares me to death. I think, God, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I posted that. And it were just a mad pity party, because it's got loads of comments on it. And honestly, I might have spent three or four hours a day, that day, replying to these comments, and just kept going on and on and on, because I'm just like not very good but people love it don't they they love to have a pity pie and they love that other people are watching and writing and stuff like that and then they get to comment back and whatever and it's just crazy we spend so many hours doing it but we all them hours we could have spent actually trying to tackle it or doing something about it that's what gets me but i totally understand because i used to do it i get it i understand it, at the time it's the best thing to do bang it on facebook Every little thing that ever happens, boom, bang, Facebook. People love it. Um, so like I said, instead of saying, why me? Say, try me. All right? Deal with issue. All right? If you just make tomorrow a little bit better than today, just by doing one thing, and then tomorrow, do one thing better to make the day after better. Honestly, it, it becomes a lot easier, and everything sort of goes together then. Um, like I said, we don't make, if we make massive changes, we're out of comfort zone. Are we going to sustain it? Probably not. But like I said, pity party on Facebook, banging comment after comment after comment on these stupid threads or writing a, this happened to me, post. It's just not very good, is it? Because we've got time to deal with it. But like I said, I've been there and I did it for that many years. Literally, I bought book, bought t-shirt, everything. Morning, Aaron. How we doing, buddy? If anyone's watching, say morning. If you're watching later, hashtag replay. So, you've got to try and protect your energy and your vibe, right? And I tend to stick around people that are positive people. I tend to try and avoid negative people where possible. Morning, Foster. Try and avoid negative people where possible. Uh, because you do get dragged down at their level. Now, your friends should be... If you're on this level, your friend should be stepping up with you to your level. But what I tend to do, and it, it does really work this. So this is your friend. This is you. Your friend's not willing to step up. They want to bring you back down. So they say, why do you want to lose weight? Why are you doing that? You don't need to do that. You're fine as you are. All right? But you can hang about with these people that are on this level. And they're going to pull you up with you. Honestly, it, it, you... You are the sum of the five people you hang around with, right? So if you hang around with super positive people, you're going to be a super positive person and you're going to look at life a lot differently because you're going to use them people and learn off them. That's where you need to be, 100% all the time. Uh, but like I said, if you've got friends that's constantly complaining, right, every day dragging you down with them, you probably need to distance yourself from them. I've had friends right, that can honestly ring me and they'll be on phone for an hour and I just can't get them off phone. They'll ring me and they'll complain and complain and complain for an hour. 
And I'm just like, what have you got out of that? And they're like, I, I, I just wanted to tell someone. But I guarantee that once I'd put phone down, they ring another one. And they do it for another hour. And then another one. Instead of dealing with the issue, they'd rather complain about it and just keep going over it and over it and over it to get everybody up to date with it. You could just go from drama to drama to drama, bounce around. It's crazy, honestly. Because all that time you could have spent doing something about it. But like I said, I get it. I've all, everybody gets Facebook memories and I can see what I used to post. And honestly, it scares me to death. And I think to myself, why would I post that? But that was my mindset at the time. That was my mentality. That, that's what I used to do. So I understand. I'm on your level with that. And I'll, I, I can educate you the best way I can to break it. Let me know if you need help. But anyway, like to, I don't hang around with them people that want to constantly get pissed. And want to constantly ram ale down my throat. Because I've got quite a few friends that do that. So I tend not to hang about them. They're still friends. But I might have unfollowed a few on Facebook. I'd still go out and see them. But I'd just not meet them in a pub. That's just not, not my thing. Because I know what will happen. And I've got to protect myself, you see. Because you can easily go backwards. Easily. Now, I don't want to put myself in the situation that could allow me to easily go backwards. So I don't. Do you know what I mean? I stay out of that situation. And that's what I think a lot of people can do. Help yourself. If there's a place or a person or an activity that causes you to do the thing you don't want to do, don't do it. Change it to something else. Change it to something else. Like I said, I still see them as friends, but I don't follow them. I don't hang about with them all the time. So, um, but like I said, I'm not saying I never have any alcohol, but it's on my terms. I don't just do it every weekend. Because like I said, I have to protect myself. And I don't want to go back to that person that I used to be. Morning, Victoria. I don't go back to that person that I used to be. Uh, oh, actually, while Victoria's on, if anybody wants to come to a, a fundraiser day on Saturday at uh, Rainbow Forge School, um, let myself know, or Victoria, or just turn up. Uh, I think it's 10 while 4.30. I'm sure Vicky will drop some comments on this thread. Uh, if you want to come, I'll be there. You can ask me all the questions all day. I've planned to be there the full time, up to 4 o'clock. So you can pick my brain as much as you want, ask me whatever you want, um, get some free stuff, come and have a look. I'm sure it's going to be a good day. Looks like there's a lot of people going. Weather's going to be absolutely beautiful and it's on your doorsteps. So if you've not planned out, that's where you need to be. Saturday. And I said, 10 while... Four, or half eight while four, I'm not sure. If you come back 12 o'clock, you're gonna be safe. You're gonna be safe. So, like what, like I said, right. So whatever you're doing and you're not changing is your choice. You're having it as a choice. So realize that you are in charge of your own life. 10.30 till four at the lodge on Church Lane. Yes, that's, that's where it is. If you wanna come, Definitely come. Looks like it's going to be a good day. Fun packed day. Loads of stuff to do. Loads of stuff for kids to do. And there's a show on as well. So there'll be loads of um, routines going off and stuff like that. So yeah, it'll be good. So like I said, whatever you aren't changing, you are choosing. I'll say it again. Whatever you aren't changing, you are choosing to do. So if you're choosing it and you don't like doing it, you're still choosing it and you're still doing it. Morning, John. How you doing, buddy? So, yeah, if you're not changing it, you are choosing it. You are in control. You look after yourself. It's your life. You can make yourself. Whatever type of future you want, you've just got to do it. Take action and push to do it. Because I can give you all the tools in the world. I can give you a solid mindset. I can show you exactly how to look after your nutrition. I can show you exactly what to do in a gym. I can show you exactly what it is you want to do to reach your goal. But you've got to do it. That's the kicker. You've got to do it. Right, that's everything I've got for today. If you need me, drop me a message, drop me a DM. Um, if you can share any of my content, uh, add some of your friends to my Facebook page. There'll always be somebody that wants help. Somebody that you'll least expect will need help. So add your friends. That'd be brilliant. I really appreciate it. Means well to me. 
And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Enjoy.